Welcome back to the player career mode here at Borussia Dortmund after two Bundesliga games. We sit fifth in the table, but you'll notice some of the sides, in fact, every side above us has played an extra game. So should we win at home against Frankfurt, then we will go up to second. Chasing, at the moment, pace setters, as is the case in real life, Jabby Alonso's by a Leverkusen. We also start the Champions League today, a competition we are yet to win away from home against AC Milan. That's not going to be easy, is it? Got Werder Bremen away uh, before that, though. We start with a home game in front of the yellow wall at Borussia Dortmund's home ground, Signal Iduna Park, against Frankfurt. Frankfurt, a decent side, to be fair, today. I'm saying thank you to those of you on the board behind me again, continually, for your support in the comment section and on stream. Nathan, Liam, and Foxy. Thank you very much, indeed, for all of your support in the comment section of this save. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying our time at... Uh, Borussia Dortmund so far, I certainly am, and things hopefully will get even better today. If we have a look at the spreadsheet, we had a not quite so great Bundesliga debut, but a really good uh, first win for uh, Dortmund in the Bundesliga, and I've absolutely butchered the spelling of Wolfsburg there, haven't I? So let's just start that all again. Wolfsburg. There you go, one and two. You spelt it right. I'll update this as well with the game now against Frankfurt, but in a, in a Dortmund shirt, we've been banging the goals in, although it was against Indian Premier League opposition. So we'll try and continue to do it against <laughs> against German opposition. And fingers crossed, we'll be able to get ourselves a decent victory to start ourselves off today. Drop the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's crack on. Right, shot conversion of 65% is going to be particularly difficult. Unless I shoot once and score. Avoid losing the match we hope to do, of course. We'll try and win it if we can. As ever, starting the second half attacking the yellow wall. But, to be honest, I don't mind what side we score at, so long as we score. His dear on the attack forward. It's a very good forward driving run. Fontana's in the way. Lukeba, the new centre-back that we bought in the summer transfer window in the last episode, is actually being played at CDM here today. So we'll wait and see how effective he can be in that position. Means that the 80 rated Fontana. Well done, Chess. The 80 rated Fontana continues at centre back. And it, rating wise, it means we're actually worse off. So we have an 80 rated centre back rather than what would be, if it was played the right way around, an 82 rated centre mid. However, despite being only 80 rated, Fontana has shown himself to be particularly good so far in this save or in this season. So I'm actually not that bothered the fact that uh, Fontana continues to play. We did have a man down injured there, but he's actually back to his feet now, which is good news. It's Kraft out on the right-hand side. I actually quite like him to get injured, if possible, because it means that 93-rated Nick Pavic would actually get the start ahead of him, and that would be preferable rather than the 79-rated Kraft. But, you know, can't ask for too much from AI managers, can you? That's a lovely ball through to me, though. We'll try and poke this out wide. To the support we've got in Tom Roth. He's up a rating to 82 now. I'm up a rating to 89 now. But we have not upped the scoreline to 1-0 yet. Yellow card, unsurprisingly, for the Frankfurt man for ruining Emil Kraft's career. Or his ankle, at least. He has picked up that injury. That's coming my way. I'm not quite going to get there. Malik Tior beats me aerially. K. Cowell with the worst attempted little flick over his head you've seen for a while. But Rowe will find Kraft, who finds me. My touch is poor. Tried the Traveller -er effort, but the defender too close to me. It's Harvey Elliott into Bula Idea. Picked off nicely by Roth. K. Cowell, I'm going on the run, and he's going to slot me in. Got the defender closing me down. I could try and go to K. Cowell again. I've got a number of options here. I get caught. Kraft continues, and Bove misses the target. It'll be a yellow card now here for Malik Tior. It's another yellow card for Frankfurt. They are throwing themselves about in this game so far. Quite the physical side we've discovered so far, though. That physicality is working in stopping us from scoring, although Bove certainly should have gotten his shot on target at the very bloody least. Oh, picked off nicely by Cowell. Castello to him again. He's going to come over the top to me here. I'm going to try and turn this inside. My first touch was good. My second touch better. The third touch from Dylan Rowe. He's fantastic. An assist for me. A goal for Bayfell Bay. Up the Dortmund. Malik Tior forward into Williams Jr. Around the corner to Mikhail Tadze. It's in the box. Looking dangerous this for Frankfurt. 
Back to Zubimendi. And forward to Inyaki Williams Jr. All right, away. Come on then, keep coming forward. Castello with the ball over the top and try and flick this round the corner. Malik Tior has had me aerially all game long. Quite frustrating considering my height, strength and heading ability, but he's had me in his back pocket, to be honest. That said, we were able to get the assist for the goal in the first half, so I'm not too disheartened. We have found this second half particularly difficult to really do anything, in all honesty. I'm on a 7.4, which is not high enough to earn my match objective. They want an 8.5 from me. We might, unless we're able to get another assist or a goal, might find myself in a position where I'm having to come off the bench in the next game against Werder Bremen. Kay Cowell is in here. There is no second assist there, although there could have been. And in the 88th minute, it's probably the only highlight you're going to see from the second half, if I'm completely honest. Not, can't recall anything else of no actually happening. At least certainly not goal mouth action anyway. Castello Junior. So I hoping he was going to go through the gap there. He didn't. He has gone through that one. Rowe gives it away, but Connor James has won it back. I was trying to run across the defensive line, but never actually came the right side of it. We win 1-0 thanks to my assisted goal and Rowe's buried near post effort. But a quiet game all told. Three points to three points. So that is Dortmund second in the division. I might be on the bench for Werder Bremen. We shall wait and see, but I'll train and try and get there regardless. And then maybe we'll go top. We have, in fact, been dropped to the bench. I have a funny feeling there's an international break between now and the next game as well. So, we... here yeah, there is. I'm going to be on the bench for Werder Bremen. Hoping desperately to get myself back into the starting lineup for the first Champions League game of the season against... AC Milan, but I'm going to have to work very hard in this next fixture to actually make the difference. Coming on off the bench then, 1-0 down at striker, coming on for Diogo Jota, but we've got a lot to do. 55 minutes, 55 seconds played, could do with five goals as well. Complete two passes in the opponent's half, score a goal from outside the box. I'll go for the passes, it's probably the more likely of the... Uh, Two that's going to happen isn't it playing in the alternate kit here which is an all yellow strip i was under the impression this was a, a cup kit only but evidently the game not recognizing that fact yates to mishut here they've given it away immediately verder bremen and we'll try and catch them on some sort of counter here and can we have the instant impact off the bench that the manager brought me on to have nearly it was the right thing to do to pass that. I was never going to score from where I was. And Bove could have set me up maybe for a first time shot on the edge of the box. No equaliser yet. But Werder Bremen, at least from that opening highlight, do look like they might be vulnerable at the back. Kraft, I call for it. He slotted me in. Take it in your stride, Chase. You pass the defender on your left foot in the box. He's tried to travella it. If he uses his left there, he kicks it sooner. Which means the keeper's further away, which means he doesn't make the save. Kind of annoyed he's travelled that, to be honest. Mishut into Karikaburu. 20 minutes left in the game. We've been on for 15. We've had two efforts already as a team, but not found an equalising goal. We might be two goals down sooner rather than later as well if we don't get rid of this, but we have been able to do that. Gregor Kubel bringing it. Forward via our left-back, Tom Roth. Cowell to Bove. Bove to Roth. Roth should come to me and has done. Just completely sent that defender. And sent that defender too. There's more around me though. Left-footed shot doesn't quite find its way towards goal. Blocked at source. It was just too many green and white shirts around me there. And I didn't show the greatest of composure. A brief opening for a, a swing at it. So we went for it. It didn't quite work. But Castello's won that back well. He is... Actually playing quite well in that CDM position. I'm quite happy with him so far in there. Roth needs the wide player to be out there, but he's not. Bove to me. I tried to play that first time. My guy wanted to take a touch first before trying to find the pass, and we've lost it. 13 minutes to go now. Still looking like Werder Bremen are going to hold on for their current 1-0 scoreline victory, unless Agu can help them get another one. Mamouche, their goal scorer, loses it. Bove and Roth will bring it away. Go on. Go on, please be onside. 
Plenty of options inside. Row. Bove! Borussia Dortmund level at 1-1. Brilliant team move. Involved in it. The assist of the assist of the assist. Buried. All right. Now then, eight minutes to find a winner. Misha into Yates. Lovely ball. Stager saved. Double save. Gregor Kubel. That's why you have a 90 rated goalkeeper between the sticks. Because he keeps you in games. We will, I hope, having lost that header, hope to get the point here against Werder Bremen. And it will be thanks to our goalkeeper if we do. We had numerous chances in this substitute appearance to get a goal or two or even maybe three we did only get the one but still could have ended up losing the game if it weren't for the man between the sticks thank the lord for him i am back in the starting lineup though for the ac milan game so get me to san siro confirmation back in the starting lineup we'll take it personally showing an improvement and earning my... No, go away! Copyright strike! Why, 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 why? I love that the music and the official audio is in the game. However, unfortunately, it does mean that uh, on YouTube it gets copyright struck. I can counter that with fair use because it's in the bloody video game. But in the moment, it doesn't count. And I could have... You know what? I'm going to... That expires in 13 days. So I'm going to save it and wait for when I might actually need it rather than needlessly use it now. Okay, well I made a 4.25 million pound investment in renewable energy and I've lost 200 grand. That's good. That's lovely. It said oh, it said low risk for that as well. That was low risk. Low risk my ass cost me 200,000 pounds. Bring on AC Milan. Craft. Oh, Luke Haben and uh, Fontana now switched. Craft is fit again and actually has the captain's armband at 79 rated, which is intriguing. He must have fantastic leadership skills. We are now wearing the away kit, or the, sorry, the alternate kit for a cup game. And um, Well, we might have been at San Siro with Inter Milan if you guys had voted that way. This might have been our home ground this year. It's not our home ground this year. We're going to be playing at Zignale Duna Park. However, we do still get to play a game at San Siro this season. We may even get the chance to play more if we come up against the Inter or AC later in the competition as well. Um, you can tell I'm just talking over the Champions League music so that I don't get copyright struck again, if you don't mind. Complete four passes, and we'll see what we can do in this first group stage game. The Champions League is a competition I am desperate to try and win, please. We've won the Europa League. We don't really fancy ourselves playing in the Europa Conference League ever again. So now the aim is... League titles in whatever league we're in. And I want to win the Champions League before we end this save and start the new journeyman managerial save. But we'll wait and see what happens. Cameron McLeod. Oh, lovely through ball. Krubel! What a goalkeeper he's going to prove to be this season. If we are to win anything this year, it is going to very much be thanks to that man in between the sticks. Pukayo Saka and Teo Hernandez not able to sort themselves out. That will be our throw. This AC Milan side are so good. It's such a good 11. I probably would rather play for AC than Inter at this current stage in this save with the quality they have. Like Bukayo Saka and Rafael Leao still here in a, a massive rating too. But right now, we're at Dortmund. We're enjoying life at Dortmund and hopefully Dortmund will be the side that help us win this competition. But at the minute, we're still nil-nil here. Dodo and Taylor to Dodo again. Back to Saka. Danger here. I think Kubel saved that. He did indeed. Because Saka's left foot is rather good. As I'm sure you're very much aware. One of the hottest young talents in European football, Bukayo Saka. It's not really, not really classed as a, a prospect anymore. He is... Very much the finished article, Bukayo Saka, already, isn't he? Oh, if Kraft had played that quickly, we might have been in. 24 minutes played now. Here at San Siro. The atmosphere is electric. There's a very large away following. And Cowell is in! And Manion makes the save. Nearly another assist for me today. Looking at that stand, you'd think we were at home here. 
They've been very generous with the amount of tickets they've sold to away fans. Might show everyone AC Milan's lineup, actually, to be fair. 89 rated Mike Magnon, 81 Dodo, 87 Canate, 83 Kasunu, and an 89 Teo Hernandez. It's Jason Thomas, a 73 rated CDM. Don't know who he is. Patreon player Owen Howell in the midfield, 96 rated, although he's barely touched the ball so far. I wouldn't have even known that he was on the pitch. Kenneth Taylor at 83, a 90 rated Saka, a 97 rated Cameron Max McLeod, which is a Patreon player, but it's given him someone else's face, and a 91 rated Rafael Leal. He's on the bench, as well as an 88 rated Ansu Fati, Mitchell Backer, Lorenzo Colombo, Zobozlai at 86, Lian Hart, and Dean Henderson. Oh, that's where Dean Henderson went then. We sold him at Dortmund earlier in the season, or at least the AI manager sold him. Here's where he went. He's come to AC Milan, hopefully, to lose to his former team in the Champions League. Well, in Castello read that nicely. Row around the corner to me. And the defender had a little stumble there. I do have support with me. And I'll cut it back. Craft shot is blocked. It will not be a corner because Teo Hernandez is absolutely rapid. Kasunu had me marshalled well there. I was never going to be able to work the angle for a shot. Had to find the teammate who, to be fair to him, stopped his run and backed away from the defender really well, but just couldn't squeeze the shot home on goal. Nil-nil at half-time at San Siro. Oh, nice turn by Teo Hernandez. I thought we were going to get it off him then. It's twisting one way, then the other. Doesn't really know where to go. Kasunu, I couldn't get there, despite sticking out a toe. Rather delayed toe, but a toe nonetheless. Thomas to Howell. And back to Thomas. They're building relatively well, Milan. They've kept possession really nicely throughout the game, but they haven't created that many obvious opportunities. Gregor Kubel in goal has been tested, but the tests haven't been massively high so far, other than maybe that one Bukayo Saka effort in the first half. Nearly at the hour mark here now, and still waiting to see the first goal of the game, but we're playing some good football at Borussia Dortmund, and hopefully... We'll have the opportunity. A little back heel. Oh, to get an assist or a goal here. And it might come. Bove! It has come! And what a finish when it did! Postage stamp stuff right in the top corner. Brilliant finish. Disappointed that my back heel didn't find him in the first place so I could have gotten a direct assist. But again, involved very heavily in the move. Put the pressure on so that the defender made the mistake. And no mistake with the finish from Bove. Look at how tight into the top corner this finish truly was. That's world class. And that's Borussia Dortmund 1-0 up. Layout. Taylor. And Thomas. To McLeod. Looking for instant response is what they're looking for. And an instant response is what they have. Owen Howell, the man to bury in the back of the net. Could the defender have done better here? It's a nice ball through by McLeod. Really nice ball. And ah, the number five in classic EA Sports FC fashion just backs away from it, Harwood Bellis. He could have just put a foot in, but he was like, no, 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 please, please, after you, have a shot. He did shoot. He scored. Thomas and McLeod. Back to Kenneth Taylor. And Kasunu. Teo Hernandez. Ourselves and AC Milan are the two best sides in the group with Ajax and FC Basel also trying their best to get through this particular group stage. So a draw here isn't the worst in the world, but the win would have been absolutely lovely. And if we're not careful, we might not even get the point. We're not going to get the point. The goalkeeper is too busy lying on top of one of his defenders to actually get up and get back in goal. This is a classic FIFA result. The first goal, the defender doesn't bother to defend. And the second goal, the goalkeeper is just on the floor, stuck underneath one of his teammates who's rolling around on top of him, by which point the ball's in the back of the net. Absolutely brilliant. Cheers then, 2-1 Milan. Bellis, options down the line. Roth tackled. Saka flattened him, really. Still got it, though, inside. And again, get away from the defender, Chez. Go on, then. Ha! We will not lose this one. My first Champions League goal of the season is an equaliser on my left foot inside the box against AC Milan. 2-2. Two, two. And 
Thank Christ for that. Rafael Leal down the line. AC Milan not done. Into the 90th minute. Mm, Teo Hernandez had a little buffering circle next to his face there for a moment. Didn't really know what he was going to do. Leal to Howell. Howell to McLeod. It's Milan 3, Bayfell Bay 2. Or we take a point each. We'll take a point each. Ultimately, uh, given the manner in which we were in the position, we'll take the point. But Jesus wept. What a game. Mm, some sarcasm in there. Ajax beat Basel by three goals to two at the Amsterdam Arena, meaning that they top the group at this stage. Dropped to the bench again. We do have that managerial favour uh, activity I can call upon for the next nine days. At the moment, though, I'm not going to need it because we can just train before Augsburg and get ourselves into the starting lineup for the next match anyway. So let's do that. Earning our... Uh, starting spots on the training field rather than just kind of cheesing it with an improvement plan with the coach. So in the next episode tomorrow then, we will have Augsburg in the Bundesliga, Hoffenheim in the DFB Pokal. But it's Pokal, isn't it? I never know if it's Pokal or Pokal. I think it's Pokal. It's like a double A sound. DFB Pokal. And then uh, Fortuna Dusseldorf before the episode after that will be back in the Champions League. And then a big one away from home against Leverkusen, actually, which is not to be missed. We are fifth in the league right now. But again, with a game in hand on some above us, that draw against Werder Bremen has kind of set us back a little bit. We could have been joint top if we'd have won that game. But unfortunately, we're not. We're only two points behind. And with Hoffenheim... Actually, Hoffenheim's the cup game, isn't it? But still... It'll be a test, evidently, because Hoffenheim seem to be a pretty decent team. Unbeaten so far this season in the league, as are ourselves and Leverkusen. And that's it. Where are Bayern? Oh, fourth. <laughs> Pay attention, Chess. That's all for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go and record the next one now as well on stream. Do come across and join me and see all the behind the scenes. It'd be great to have you over on Twitch or on the YouTube Live uh, YouTube or Chesnoid Live YouTube channel as well. Links to everything in the description down below. But for now, I'll see you tomorrow. Toodaloo.